Well, welcome back, everyone. We're joined now by Amanda Jarnigan here with the Emerald Museum of Art. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. Of I'm course, yeah. Well, glad to have you here. So, of course, I mean, we always, I mean, lots of great artists here in Amarillo, and we thank yeah. Amarillo Museum of Art. You guys do a great job of spotlighting those artists, do all kinds of cool events and everything. But now you're kind of letting the community get involved of not just coming and seeing the art, but maybe get to take a piece home, right? That's right. We have our 20 by 20 exhibition and silent auction coming up. It's going to be on Thursday, and that's your opportunity to support the local artist and take home a piece. And so we were talking a little bit during the break, how many pieces of art and how many local artists are there? We're going to have about 98 in this show and wow. it is a juried show. Um, so we're very fortunate to have it. The generosity of the artist is significant to make this fundraiser happen. Um, so, of course, so it is a fundraiser, so of course you're going to be auctioning off. We'll get into the details of putting in bids here in a little bit, but, you know, like you said, you know, the generosity of the artists, you know, wanting to help out this fundraiser. So tell us what people's money is going to be going to benefit. Well, the money goes towards the educational programs for the Amarillo Museum of Art. That means school tours, it's our children's art classes, it's our Young at Art, where we take art experiences to the Senior Citizen Center. It's one of my favorite things that we do. Uh, so the educational programs for the Amarillo Museum of Art. It sounds like a lot of fun for sure. Like I said, it sounds like a great cause for sure. So um, people want to come and see these exhibitions, come see these pieces of art. What are some ways that they can do that? Well, they're available right now online. You can go to our website to start viewing them. That's amoa.org, amoa.org. Um, bidding is live. And then if you'd like to see them in person, because art is always best in person, <laughs> you can come by the museum for free on Wednesday and Thursday from 11 to 5. We're open. You can view them. And then we're having a reception on Thursday night. So that's the 28th. It's from 6.30 to 8.30. AMOA members are free, but if you're not a MOA member, it's just $20 to come. Okay, and is that Thursday night, is that the, is that the end of the auction? It is, so okay. it closes at 8.30 p.m. at the end of the reception. So you mentioned the website is where you can go and view them. That's also where you can go and bid. So you can't bid in person? That's or right. How does it all work? All bidding happens online. So whether you're there at the reception or not, you can be at home in your pajamas. Uh, the bidding ends at 8.30 and it's all placed online. Okay, so like I said, you can go right now, you can see them online. Of course, you know, getting to go, I, you know, I've been to a couple of the receptions that, that y'all have at the Museum of Art. And it's always fun getting to walk yes. around, look at it, enjoy the fun of the atmosphere and everything. And like you said, 98 entries. I mean, there's a lot. There is. I mean, definitely, I don't think you could have brought 98 with you here this morning. But <laughs> no. you, did, you, you did bring three for us to kind of I give us a little I did bring a couple, to, yes. So what we're about to see here, we're going to take a look at some of the exhibitions that have been brought here. And these are ones that are actually up for auction, right? Can you That's tell us more correct. about them? So this piece here is titled Juicy. It's by artist Gabrielle Bivens. The next one here in the middle is called Paladora by Morning. It's an oil on linen, and that's by artist Kelly Pennington. So that one is kind of, it really is a got, got that painting local of Paladuro. Sure. Yes, it's quite beautiful. And then the last one I brought with me today is one of my favorites. It's an encaustic, and it is titled Budding Inspiration by Summer Balser. Oh, wow. And some beautiful pieces of artwork for sure. Yes. And as you can see, I mean, you just brought three, but you have, I mean, so many different, you know, art styles. You know, That's you right. have these, you know, kind of more, you know, landscape, you've got, you know, these more abstract, you had, of course, you know, some of those other kind of styles, and I mean, it's really cool to see, and so that's just kind of a, a mild sample of what people can it expect. Is. So tell us one more time where they can go online to see the full selection of what they can do. You make. can go to amoa.org and go ahead and start uh, looking at all the different artworks, and then if you'd like to see it in person, come by the museum on Wednesday or Thursday, and then feel free to come by the reception on Thursday night from 6.30 to 8.30. Awesome. And then where can people go to just get some more information about y'all? I'd say our website, our social media is also great. We've got a good little Instagram following and we keep that pretty up to date. Uh, but the website will always let you know what exhibitions are happening at the museum. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit. Thank you. This is an awesome event. 